everybody. It's Shauna here at the Manitoba Museum in front of our beautiful diversity tree in the Parklands Gallery. The diversity tree showcases some of the amazing animals we have here in our province of Manitoba. But let's face it, when you're on a nature hike, you don't see animals like this. Animals are pretty shy of humans and they'll often be hiding. But there are things that you can look for that are clues that an animal has been there. One of the great things to look for is tracks. Learning the different shapes of animals' tracks is a great thing to do when you're on a nature hike. Sometimes you might get lucky, find a little bit of fur on the trail, even a few feathers, for example. But there's something else that you can look for that will give you a big clue of the animal that's been around. Let's see. An animal eats its lunch, its body takes what it needs from the lunch, and what its body doesn't need comes out the other end. That's right, I am talking about poop. All animals poop. It's the body's way of getting rid of waste, but I'm gonna use a scientific word for poop today, scat. Which brings me to the real reason I brought us here to this exact spot in our gallery, to show you our amazing Manitoba Museum scat drawer. That's right, you heard correctly, the scat drawer. Uh, we have scat from many different animals here in Manitoba in this drawer, and in case you're wondering, Yes, it is real scat. It's been preserved. It was basically liquid plastic and solvent. They apply it kind of like a shellac. They paint it on and then the solvent evaporates. So it's sort of been plasticized, this scat. So animals that eat plants, herbivores, like deer and rabbit, their scat usually comes out in little pellets. As you can see from this rabbit scat, and this is deer scat. So if you see that on the trail, you know that it was a deer or rabbit around. Whereas carnivores, like this wolf, their scat tends to have bits of fur, feathers, or bone in it uh, from the animals that they ate. And they don't digest the fur, so it comes out in their scat. This big scat, in case you're wondering, is a bit like a big pellet in a way. It's from a bison, a herbivore. Over here on this side, we have two black bear scats. I wanted to point out to you that this black bear scat has plastic in it no animal can digest plastic. They can try to get rid of it as waste, like we see with this black bear scat, but sometimes it can be very, very dangerous for them. So it's always important never to litter, never leave garbage on the ground, plastic, but even in our oceans too, it's very dangerous for animals. Which brings me to a question I have for all of you. What are some ways that we can reduce our use of plastics? And uh, if you could let us know, that would be awesome. Thank you.